It is, it is important to us because we have no other nations to call our own. Nigeria, by every standard in every nations of the world, is a great nation in the continent of Africa. And every one of us sitting there, we are proud Nigerians. And we will do everything within our capacity to protect the interests of Nigeria anywhere we find ourselves. The Americans will die for America anywhere they find themselves. So we ought to do the same thing as Nigerians. Gentlemen of the press, every reporter that should go out about Nigeria should be taught true and having the interests of the nations as heart. For every one of us to function and to have our lively means of livelihood in Nigeria, the nations need to be safe. First and foremost, if you don't have a nation, where do you have the, 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 the ability to function? We welcome you to join us in the struggle for the well-being and the soul of Nigeria. It doesn't matter where you come from. We are all united Nigeria. Either you are from the south, you are from the west, you are from the east, or you are from the northern part of this country. We are all one Nigeria. For the Americans, anywhere they find themselves, they struggle for the betterment of the lives of their people. Today, democracy is thriving all over the nations of the world. Americans who are the perpetrators of democracy, they all have their own shares of problems. So no nation, no human being, no entity under the sun is perfect. We are all walking towards perfection. In December, 15th day of 2020. And this is my speech. Gentlemen of the press, we wish to have good news to share with you here to honor our invitations. But sadly, there is no good news here We have sober news for you, and it is to the effect that those that are out to sabotage Nigeria have not relented. They have instead perfected their plans in a manner that shows that there has to be a radical shift in the way Nigerians relate with known enemies so that it can better manage the security breach that are taking different dimensions with each passing day. We want to recall hashtag NSAS protest. The sheer scales of violence inflicted on Nigeria by those protests and the slimly inability of the military service with their other counterparts to respond. Please note that by the virtues of the bank's account that the CBN later secured court order to freeze, we have now become aware that people were paid to carry out those protests. The second thing is to note is that the ability of the military and the police to stop the arch of destruction did not befall them overnight. 
the demoralization and in incapacitation of this institution took a long time in the making. It was insidiously done over a period of time using fabricated reports that indicts the security apparatus of the country on a daily basis. The militaries are there to protect our lives. And over time, it has been said that arm, Nigerian Armed Forces has performed creditably well in all international engagement. And I want to say we are proud of the Nigerian Army and the entire Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And of course, the SSS, the police, they are doing their best. Furthermore, Note that during, after the protest, there was a full-fledged command and control operation that shot out fake news against the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and its agencies. The command and control operations reportedly func functioned from Canada where NGOs, particularly the international ones and their local affiliates, vocally presented alternate facts in a bid to stock on one more layer of lies to discredit the military establishment and other security agencies. Some of us seated here, our parents have been engaged one way or the other in the military activities of this country. And they have defended this country with every last breath in them. The only unifying force we have in this country is the security apparatus. Particularly the Nigerian army, they have, over the years, stand firm with constituted authorities to safeguard the nation called Nigeria. We cannot afford to throw that to the winds. No international conspiracy, no international sub sabotage will succeed in this country, if all of us can work together as one nation. The ICC has recently dis dis declared that it plans to investigate the Nigerian military for a wide range of human rights violation. Even though it made clear that the military was now nowhere near the crimes committed by Boko Haram. It non nonetheless decided to work with Partners who focus on the military and blew the accusation out of proportion. The reality is that the ICC has proven itself to be an organization that has tied itself to the hands of international Amnesty International and the interest is present globally and here in Nigeria. Like every other right-thinking person who was paused at the decision announced by the ISIS, we find it odd that the creations of the Rome, Rome statue has become a willing tool in the hands of the highest bidder. One that would stand logic on his head, support terrorists by failing to order their arrest and valifying agencies of the Nigerian state. What is, what, what is surprising is the extent to which the ISIS is in, is in bed with organizations that run campaigns that are clear violations of what the court stands for. We have learned that Amnesty International and Transparency International provided a sum of $1.7 million, out of which officers at the ISIS we are facilitated, facilitated to arrive at the recommendation that we be damning of Nigeria. We have credible information that the amount was paid into an account outside, the, outside Nigeria. Why more fund is still being expected into the account? This same approach was adopted in financing the NSAS protest. Hence, the subversion-related transactions that made the CBN ordered 
the freeze on some account. 